Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Jesus Garcia My Player Rumor. Guys, the note we found on the car said this. You have been warned. Stay away. Handwritten as well. Just attached to the front of the car, guys. And that is all it said. Nothing else. I checked both sides and that's all that was there. And I still don't have a clue now who did this guys so make sure you let me know in the comments down below who you think did this and what might come of this guys we get to our car after the game and it has been trashed it could be someone like Neymar it could be it could be anybody the only person we can think of right now is Neymar but then yeah I don't know if it is him or not because he was at the game but he did get substituted off early in that last game so potentially it could be him so we don't really know guys, but for now all we do know is this car is totaled, we tried to start it before and it would not start, it's completely smashed to pieces, the engine's smashed, we're going to have to send it off to get repaired and uh, we're going to have to pay with our insurance, hopefully we'll cover that one, and we're going to have to call in a tow truck right now, which is what we're doing right here guys. I'm going to call in a tow truck to come and pick up the car and take it away to the uh, mechanics to get repaired before we can use it again in a few episodes time. So guys, here we are just waiting for the repair truck to come and as we do, he finally turns up about 20 minutes later and he's on his way up to the stadium now. And as you can see guys, just so you know of what's coming in this episode, AC, a Jackers uh, there in the league we've got and then we've got a game against ASNL in the uh, the league, sorry, the cup, the first one, and the second one's the league. So, guys, here we are, still very, very upset because it's my new car, very distraught and a bit scared of what or who this could be, guys, because this has just come out of nowhere. Our car is absolutely manched up, and here comes the tow truck man just backing in now to pick up our car. He's got it hooked on and he's going to have to take it away. We're going to have to get out all the details from this in the coming episodes, guys, about what is going to happen with our car. If there's any changes you'd like to see happening to the car while it is being repaired, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see what we can do about that. But for now, we're going to have to figure out getting a new car sorted. Maybe just a rental car for now while we're getting this one fixed. Don't want anything too major. And uh, while we do that, guys, we're going to be continuing on with this episode, and hopefully getting a bit happier, getting a bit lighter, and hopefully forgetting about that for now. But we need to try and figure out who is doing this guys as you can see we're in the tesla here with jenny she, we're just driving in to the local car dealership where we made a call ahead of time and asked if we could get a specific car on um loan for a couple of weeks potentially depending on how long our car takes and then we're going to be using this car for a little bit it's a very expensive very cool prototype car that is only a couple of in the world and they're right here in paris they currently have the uh, one we were looking for so we asked them to put it out for us we're going to be renting that one guys it's going to be pretty expensive to rent it's going to be a weekly fee of five thousand dollars but that's weekly it's not a one-off it's a weekly fee of five thousand dollars so every week we have this it's going to be five thousand dollars which isn't much to us right now but it is a lot to some other people guys and it's a pretty crazy car and there is also a clause if we get this car damaged we will be paying a lot of excess to get all the repairs done so we've got to make sure we do not crash this car look at it here guys it looks amazing it doesn't have a name yet apparently it's just been built and it's a very early prototype x so guys here we go getting our renter car for the next coming episodes or two let me know what you think about this car i think it's pretty cool maybe even we could even give it a name or something i don't know but it has no name and it's just this awesome race car prototype and it's created by some guys here in Paris and they wanted to show it off and uh, who better to drive it than a very rich footballer with money to spend guys so if we do damage it, bear in mind um, it will end up costing us a lot of money to get it fixed depending on how damaged we make it but hopefully we won't do that and we'll just look after it as we look after our tyrant until it got destroyed by someone else and we still need to figure out who that is guys so again if you haven't already make sure you hit up the comments down below and let me know who you think might have destroyed our tyrant guys it was completely total windows were smashed engine was smashed doors everything was smashed and paintwork all scratched up as well it was crazy guys but here we are about to head into the next episode uh next game in this episode and as you can see we are in the semi-finals of the coupe and la league against AC Ajaka I believe their name is and we've got the top goal scorers here in the cup with four goals we've got the top assister there with two goals and this one's a way to assist sorry and this is away from home today as well with three clean sheets top of that leaderboard as well guys so they're looking pretty decent in the league so far we currently played 
in this competition. Three games and we've got three goals, which is looking pretty good. We're currently sitting second in the squad rank as always. And uh, we're waiting a long time for the uh, away bus to turn up. So we stayed in the car and waited and we got straight into the game, guys. As you can see here, away from home against AC, a Jackie Ol. Sorry, a Jackie Ol. Almost had it before. It's PSG against them. So, guys, it's away from home. As you can see, we're in the semi-finals. If we win this, we'll be playing either against Nancy's or Monaco in the final of the Coupe de la, de la Ligue, which is going to be pretty cool. And look at me, their player to watch. Age 22, Jesus Garcia with this awesome haircut. Guys, forward for PSG. Player to watch in this game. And there I am, looking pretty menacing, guys. We're in our black kit today, which is a very rare occasion because normally we are wearing our usual dark blue or our yellow away kit. So we're wearing the black kit today for once, which is pretty cool. And as you can see from this um, opposition lineup here they've got today, they've got the likes of Lecker in goal. They're playing a 4-4-1-1 formation, which is looking pretty dangerous. Hopefully we can hold them out, guys. It is the semi-final, so you can expect anything from a game like this because if they perform well, they will go on and get into the final. But if we perform well, we will have a great chance of getting another a, a trophy this season, and hopefully getting one of many, because we've got a good, we've got the Champions League, we've got this cup, we've got the Copa Nationale, we have got the um, the French League and the Champions League. There's so many things to win. Like we, we could win five this season, I believe. If if we do well, four or five trophies a season would be amazing. But we'd have to really, really push every kind of competition. The likes of Jacks are starting this one on the left, Coconi on the right, Jesus up front, and we're playing the usual with a few changes in the back guys and the midfield as well so the usual main usual players there and it's looking pretty menacing for today's lineup from PSG we will definitely be looking for a win hopefully we can get it out of this one because this is a really vital game to grab a three points out of and head to the final what place better to play than a cup final guys that's what we're aiming for cup finals to win the league and to get the Champions League final is the main aim of this season guys that's what we're here for it's why we're staying at PSG a lot of you wanted to leave PSG after what's been happening with Neymar but I don't want to give in and I also want to sort out some things with Neymar and Santi before we go anywhere. So we're going to be making sure that that happens this season before it all finishes, guys. Here comes the first chance of the game. It's going to be a free kick here, and it's going to go to the opposition team right on the edge of the box. They've got a really good chance of putting this in the back of the net here. Two minutes in and going 1-0 up. Can they do it here? He's going to take a little run-up. Takes a chip into the box to the player's head. Heads it there, and it's just about gone in. The keeper makes a fantastic save and saves it. He's like, where are my defense? He's not very happy with that one, but the corner kick comes in. Gets cleared away nicely there, and it's going to land it to Draxler, who's headed straight to Jesus Garcia here, who's pushing down the left wing there gets taken out last man guys definitely last man running past the halfway line Jesus Garcia takes a bit of a pull a bit of a knock on his leg not too happy about that one I don't know if he's injured or not but guys the player who tackled sees a red card in the fourth minute of this game and he has been sent off for that challenge on Jesus Garcia who will recover very quickly and head back onto the pitch after that little challenge guys but the opposition player and team have lost a player now with a red card so hopefully we can use this to our advantage I think he might have been a centre back as well which is even better for us Jackson now running down on the left wing here 8 minutes into this game we've got a good chance coming forward can we put this one in the back of the net across in the box gets headed away but we've got another chance there Jesus Garcia on the edge of the box to make it 1-0 can we do it and Zonzi on the ball lays it to Jesus Garcia who takes the shot across goal and the keeper Lecker has made a very good save to push that one out for a corner kick unluckily for Jesus Garcia guys here we push forward now 24 minutes into this game getting taken out again but jumping the challenge this time looking to get a finesse shot away from distance and not enough power or accuracy on that one to see it go anywhere near the goal but here we come now 32 minutes in with the next chance of the game for PSG ball intercepted here tried to lay forward by them but no Thiago Silva makes a really good interception here we come down the right wing now Akone there to De Monsi De Monsi there and we've got a good chance with Jesus Garcia on the ball Jesus Garcia gets tackled but keeps going cuts inside a really good chance here for Jesus Garcia and the shot's gone straight at the goalkeeper's legs who made a very good save once again and pushed it just over his goal <coughs> here we come down to the 45 minute point of this game guys half time point and we're going to be heading into the break currently at 0-0 in the semi-final guys 6.8 match rating 45 minutes play and we're doing okay in this game we've got a really good chance if we can keep going to push on and get a goal but guys they have got a man down this is the main thing we have got 10 v 11 men we have got the advantage we need to be winning this we need to be showing them we need to be taking more chances as you can see here we're coming forward with another one though 48 minutes in and can we get a chance away here we chipped it over looks like it might get to Draxler who tries a bicycle kick 
Very extravagant one, it doesn't quite come off. But guys, here we come with the next chance of the game. Running down the middle. Here, just slightly on the left of the box. So we're gonna cut inside. Yes, we are. Cuts inside there, opens up the space so much to make it 1-0. Jesus Garcia. There is no doubt about that one, guys. We've gone and scored the first goal of this game away from home in the semi-final. Could that be the game winner? Jesus Garcia scoring in the 56th minute for PSG. And we've gone Wendell up. A very, very nice goal indeed from um, Jesus Garcia. Guys, look at this run there. That cut inside there just opened up the space. No players when they're marking him and it all he had to do was slot that one in the back of the net which of course he did with ease guys look at that one finesse shot right into the back of the net and it's a very very nice goal from Jesus Garcia and look at this four goals in just in this competition guys we're into the semi-finals and we will be looking to push top goal scorer of this cup competition Verratti is now coming on the pitch as a substitute in the 57th minute and we're going to be continuing the last 33 minutes of this game with a, uh, one man up and a goal up as well now. So hopefully we can use this advantage for the rest of the game. 59 minutes in now. We're pushing forward with another chance. Can we get the ball back here and intercept last man? Yes, we can. Demonsi on the ball there. A good chance to lay it through to Jesus Garcia, who is on side. Jesus Garcia pushes towards goal. 60 minutes in. Another chance to make it 2-0. Neca makes a very good save. Uh, Kone trying to get the ball straight back to Jesus Garcia, but we weren't able to do so. 10 minutes left in this fixture. Can we get any more? goals in this one. We should be able to make it at least 2-0 at some point in this game. Here comes the next chance. Jesus Garcia wins it back. He's got a good chance running straight at the goal. Takes it on his right foot. And it's just gone wide of the goal. Once again, Jesus Garcia shooting more than he is scoring and not getting enough goals in this game when we really should be finishing them. A good tackle there in the 90th minute, guys. Sees the ball and back to Jesus Garcia's feet. Can we get this one away? And we're just trying to work it out here and we've laid it back there to the pass for walks and here we come forward with the next chance of the game can we do anything with it here no they've intercepted and there goes the full-time whistle guys it doesn't matter anymore because we have won the semi-finals we will be heading into the final against either AS Monaco or FC Nantes unless there is a second leg fixture I'm not quite sure I don't think there is but we scored the goal we got an 8.6 match rating guys we've scored 20 goals in total this season look at that it says there from the manager here like he's very happy with my mark being made in this game guys and as you can see we are here right now back in our rental car on our way to see Santi once again in the hospital guys so we're going to be checking him out guys as you can see uh, I think it says that Nantes ended up winning just on penalties so we'll be playing against them in the final coming up soon and as you can see I also achieved player of the month for the second month in a row and uh, Dortmund have signed Wilfred Zaha for 37.8 million Juventus have signed Andre Gomez for 56, 52.6 million, which is a pretty cool signing. And we're going to be heading here right now to the hospital where we've just arrived for our quick chat. We're going to be having with Santi about a few important things like the revenge plan that he wanted to try and figure out with me. So we're going to be talking about that. That is going to be the poll for this episode, guys. So make sure you're listening about the options and make sure you hit up the... Um, in the comments and hit the poll to make sure you get your say in what happens in this episode guys as you can see we've just arrived here at the hospital to see Santi he's slowly getting better it's been about two weeks since we last saw him but he's still lying here he's not in a very good state at all and because he fractured his skull and his leg he's still still recovering and he's taking his time here in Paris guys so as you can see we're about to get this conversation underway hey Santi I want to help you get revenge good I had some ideas I'll run you through okay cool what did you have in mind one, we could go to his mansion and mess with his cars. Two, we could blackmail him, maybe for money or humiliation. Three, we could push him off a similar balcony. Four, we could make him lose his Nike sponsorship. Or five, we could beat him up, you know, 2v1. Okay, I'll have a think and let you know soon. Sweet man, thanks for stopping by. Alright guys, as you heard there, they are the five options for today's episode. What revenge plan do we want to make? We've got a game coming up now against ASNL in the league, guys. We currently have won the game advantage as well at the top of the table with three points ahead of second place. Depay is still the top goal scorer, but Jesus is creeping up slowly fifth now. And uh, as for the assist, Jesus is sitting currently cut comfortably top of that one by one over Destro. And as for Aria Lower, he's just running away with the clean sheets at the moment this season. He's three ahead of the second place Lafont in goal. And as you can see from the league guys we've played 21 games this season scored nine got eight assists and we are currently still somehow behind Neymar in the squad ranking even though we are playing generally better than him this away game again guys uh, no bus for this one we're going to be heading straight into that one and we're going to be playing this game against ASNL away from home again so two away games in this episode we won the last one in the cup in the semi-finals which put us through to the final with a 1-0 victory and we are looking here to hopefully push on and get the victory we need to make sure 
we get the three points on the table because guys if we give up any points at this vital point in the season second place is right behind us they may not have a game in hand like we do but if we lose this one they'll be legitimately three points behind us which isn't good the opposition team here currently playing a 4-3-3 formation just like PSG guys and as you can see Neymar is alongside me for this game he didn't start the last one Draxler did and I don't think he even made an appearance in the last game which was quite interesting because it was a semi-final as well but I'm not sure if we're focusing on the league I'm not sure what the manager's thoughts about not playing Neymar as much as he used to is but guys here is the lineup for today we've got Jesus starting up front we've got Lucas on the right Neymar on the left Henderson and Zonzi and Caligari in the midfield we've got Garcia Company, Marquinhos and Frosta at the back and we've got Ariel Loa in goal as usual guys he's playing really well this season so hopefully Neymar can come on and make a difference today as much as I don't like him right now we want the whole team to play well and get goals and uh have a good team performance and we don't want that to affect us and if it does start to affect us maybe we do need to think about moving clubs come the end of the season because I don't know if depending on what happens with Neymar guys what how could we play with him in our team if things are going on in our personal life that are going to affect it so badly but guys here we are continuing into this game against ASNL 42 minutes in guys absolutely no highlights and as you can see from my match rating it's been a pretty terrible game I've been losing the ball constantly can't hold the ball can't hold a shot we've been getting no shots away I got a 3.2 match rating as we head into the halftime mark guys it's been absolutely terrible and there we go heading into the halftime mark in this game currently with a very poor rating with no shots on target for the either team it's been that bad guys and nothing is happening in this game the manager's feedback is absolutely terrible Jesus Garcia has just got so much on his mind playing alongside Neymar just distracting so distracting we don't know what we're going to do about it right now but here we are getting the second half underway we kind of had a slap in the face from the manager to let us know that we need to start performing in this game guys 58 minutes in and here comes a chance for ASNL they're going to come forward with Dembele on the ball can they lay it back here they've done nicely there they've got a good chance to cross it and there it goes and a warning shot is fired and the warning goal has gone in the back of the net for PSG guys and we are sloppily playing today everyone in this entire team not just Jesus Garcia not just Neymar everybody in this team is playing terrible today we've gone 1-0 down here away from home we don't know what it is guys nobody's head is in the game Maybe it's all the fact that everyone's been hearing Neymar on the news about what is happening with Santi after Santi has pressed charges like you guys asked for, which we'll be seeing more of soon. But guys, the whole team knows about it. Everybody knows about it. And now we're seeing an impact on the team's morale, on the team's performance. And we've gone 1-0 down in this game. Verratti trying to come on here to make a difference as a substitution. But we're 1-0 down in the 60th minute, guys. We've got 30 minutes to make our make ends meet and make sure we get a goal back guys we're 75 minutes into this one now we've got a good chance coming forward Jesus Garcia can we get our first shot of the game properly away we had one shot earlier on and that was it but we've got a good chance to come forward here Jesus Garcia on the ball looks to get a shot away no he just runs straight to the goalkeeper we've put ourselves up to a 5.5 match rating but it's not really enough at the moment and here comes Jesus Garcia once again on the ball can he get a shot away here can he push into the box we're running around the edge of the box to make it 1-1 in this game with our first decent shot of the game and the goalkeeper makes a good save and Lucas's shot there is offside as well guys 78 minutes played 84 minutes into this game now guys we are into the final five minutes and we just cannot hold this ball we cannot keep it they've just sent a ball over the top out of nowhere and they've gone and scored their second goal of the game and i think they've put this game to bed guys it's 2-0 to asnl on the scoreline psg do not know what has hit them guys playing absolutely terribly and that ball there was a typical example of what's been happening all game we just get tackled on the ball even that was jesus garcia as well and then the ball comes through over the top the defense were fast asleep and the ball goes straight through and the man scores his shot and rightfully so guys we're 2-0 down and we deserve to be at the moment not playing well at all and I don't think we will be for the rest of this game we need to have a real switch on after this one guys as you can see in the 90th minute now it looks like this game might all be over but guys the game we got one more chance continuing on now can we get anything out of it 90 minutes in or is this game going to end at 2-0 and get another loss on the league table that would it will be our third loss of the season guys just losing possession here and there goes the full time whistle finally we've been put out of our misery it was not a pretty game it was not a good day and we're going to go home very dejected and very unhappy guys as you can see a 6.0 match rating all these things happening outside of the pitch have been really affecting everyone and Neymar they're looking very down about what has been going on and uh 
I'm sure he regrets what he did, but we'll have to see him in court, I think, and uh, work on that another time, guys, and in another episode. For now, we're going to finish this episode off. We've got a game against Lyon coming up on the 5th of Feb next uh, episode, so we've got the February game coming up, and then we've got Marseille straight after that. So the next episode will be Lyon and Marseille, like a couple of episodes ago, and uh, we're currently sitting top still by three points, but now we have no games in hand, so we're going to be just three points clear of second place and as you can see guys we got in our rental car again going for a drive and we was just so frustrated and so annoyed and we know this thing can go fast so we thought you know what let's go for a bit of a drive let's start speeding down the highway and see how fast we can make this thing go try and make myself feel a bit better and as we get around the corner guys onto the straight here we just absolutely put our foot down and boost it as fast as we can guys i'll see you all in the next episode please give us a like share and subscribe and just before we go guys look what happens. I'll see you in the next episode.